Charles and you're watching Red Oval. Today, we are doing a toy hunt, but not your average toy hunt. This is a toy hunt for WWE figures on eBay. Yes, guys, we're going to be toy hunting on eBay today. I know normally my toy hunts are in like Walmart or Target. They used to be in Toys R Us a lot, but now we are doing some of them on eBay. You guys enjoy these? So our main search, as you can see in the search bar right now, I do have WWE Elite, but we're going to change that. It is going to be rare WWE Elite figures. That is going to be our search for the video. We might change it as we go, but we are going to look for some good deals. I'm looking to spend some money, so let's freaking do this. Let's go, guys. Enter, search, let's go. Oh, right off at the top, we got the Elite 15 Sin Cara. That figure's very hard to find in good condition. This guy wants $54.50 to ship. I don't know what the condition is, but I do have it already. JTG, good luck finding it with all the accessories. I will never buy that figure unless it has the accessories. Got a nice looking Elite 3 Sean, missing some accessories. Basic CM Punks, I swear, are always pricey. Look at that. That's just a regular basic. This dude wants 33 bucks. Um, looks like you got some old retros in that lot. Here's a best of pay-per-view CM Punk. It's actually a pretty decent price there. I can't lie. It looks like it has a swapped head scan or some sort of custom head scan on it. Um, guy's asking 45. Not too shabby at all. Here's a nice looking Chavo Guerrero lot. You can get the Elite 5 as well as an old Jax. Uh, looks like it's a deluxe aggression figure. Uh, it's actually not a bad lot there for 50. Uh, just missing the headband on the Chavo. Always, um, at least for me, I always need all the accessories. Um, but that's still not a bad lot. Here's a good one. Elite 25 Sin Cara. Depending on the condition, that could be a banger of a price right there for an Elite 25 Sin Cara. Because that, that figure's a little pricier. I uh, got an AJ Lee right here. I don't know. 45 seems really steep. Nice second Ken Shamrock. If you guys can't find it in the store, boom. There you go. What a deal. $24. Here's a nice looking lot of old figures here. Looks like you got some Arn, Tully, Flair, NWO over here. Um, by the looks of it, 400 seems a little steep. I'm not going to lie, but I'm not going to click on it. Uh, Adam Rose right here. What a deal. You're paying $20 after shipping in the box. Solid deal if you need an Adam Rose. Oh, we got a 2017 lot of figures right here. New in box. Looks like their range is from $40 to almost $100. I would assume the $100 figure out of there is maybe the D'Lo or the Ken Shamrock, but... Yeah, not too bad. We got an Edge right here. This is another figure very hard to find with all in good condition. I believe this is the Elite 9 Edge, and this figure is always damaged every single time I see one on eBay. Look at this. This brings me back. Got that Shield 3-pack, the Walmart exclusive. Got a Virgil figure missing the top entrance jack, and this man wants over 40 bucks. Ain't no way nobody buying that. This is actually really good right here. We got an Elite 20 Christian, which is hard as, cra hard as crap to find with the glasses and the shirt. Um, this guy only wants, uh, it's $30, one bid, $10 to ship, of course, but he wants $50, buy it now. That's a pretty freaking good deal, I can't lie. You got a nice looking gentleman, Jack Gallagher, one bid. That guy's, he's, he's sailing home free. That's all his, the guy that bid on that. Got the Chase Jake the Snake right here, only 27 not bad. We got some Legends Bushwhackers for 57 Missing the hats, I mean, you know, 57 missing the hats. No, thank you. Got a European title. Six bids on that. People do bid on titles. So if you do have extra titles uh, laying around and you don't need duplicates of titles, I highly recommend putting some on eBay. You know what I'm saying? And just getting some more money for other figures. If you like that, unless you need like a certain title for every certain figure, then don't do that. But if you have extra ones and they're just laying around, throw them up on eBay, man. You can get some extra money for some figures. Here's an Elite 79. Oh, I was wondering why it was pricey. I'm like, why is the Elite 79 Big E pricey? It looks like it's signed right there. Um, and uh, Men's Wants 42. That's actually not too bad. I didn't know it was signed. Uh, this one. Oh, man, this was a flopped figure. Lex Luger, the NWO uh, figure. This guy only wants 14. Deal and a half. Uh, this is odd. Hall of Champions, Tommaso Ciampa. 50 bucks. Is this? Is that a pricey figure? If, it, if so, that's crazy. Mans is even missing the headband, too. So, um, I don't know if it's a pricey figure, but if so, I have the headband. So, dang, I didn't know that one went up. Uh, we got The Rock right here from the Hollywood line. I swear I've never seen that figure in wild. I've never even seen it in person. Like, how do you have this figure? 35 watchers. I can understand, because how the crap do you have that? Next, looking Eddie Guerrero. That's one figure that's going to be really rare one day. Guaranteed Elite 8 Eddie. Uh, I got John Laurinaitis. Nice. Build a figure, 60, understandable. Got a basic Christian, which actually looks pretty in good condition. Here's the WWE action figure lot for $605. By the looks of it, almost everything. Yeah, yeah, I don't know, about 600 bucks. 
because a lot of things are missing accessories by the looks of it. Uh, you got a basic archers for 17. Ain't no way nobody buying that. Psycho Sid for 20. What a deal. This is actually a pretty good deal. Flashback Yokozuna for 55. 12 the ship. Uh, this big show is hard to find with um, the shirt and both titles. Elite 10 big show for 60. That's actually not bad. Here you go. You got Elite 15 Evan Bourne from Air Boom. That figure is really cool. Uh, $20 starting bid. $6 to ship. If nobody bids, home free on that. That's a great looking figure. Let's see what else we got. Rare Elites. Uh, looks like you got some legends in there. Missing some accessories for 75 Eh, you know what I'm saying. Elite 33 X Pack for 51. Not bad. This is always cool. I always see this figure up on here. This guy's had this up here for a while. This custom Jeff Hardy put elite legs on it and then used the basic upper half of the basic and threw the icy title in there too. It's actually a really good looking figure, but I just never pulled the trigger on it. Isaac Yanka missing all the accessories. Oh, come on, and this man still wants 50 bucks. Come on. At least for me, I need all the accessories. Unless it's like a table or a ladder. But if the ladder's like specific to the figure, like the Rings exclusive rock with the yellow rims, I need to pick that up. Here's a figure that everybody's looking for. Jimmy Uso right here. But we do have a couple more Jimmy Usos coming out. So if you do want to wait, we do got some more couple uh, Jimmy Usos coming out. Nice second Big E, or Big E, Booker T for 50, build a figure. Here's Shad, very nice looking figure. RIP, obviously. 28 watches on this when it's 60, but... No watchers on this when it's 51. How does that make any sense? I swear, eBay's, eBay, they freaking cert, put certain figures up in the algorithm and they don't. It's weird, dude. Um, this is cool, man. This brings me back to the SummerSlam 20 freaking, it looks like a 2011 ring. The guy has it listed as 2015, but it looks like a 2011 ring. Um, it looks pretty freaking cool with that cardboard over it. I haven't seen that thing in the package in a while. Look at this, Elite One Jeff Hardy. Dude. Oh, this guy wants 600 bucks. I think this is the same guy that has the Chase Rob Van Dam from Elite 91. And my goodness, I want both of those figures. Oh, dude. Like, I don't know how you have the Elite 1 Jeff Hardy and not have the shirt, though. That always blows me away. These people that have this Elite 1 Jeff Hardy, but it's always missing the shirt. Like, look at this thing. Oh, dude. Come on, man. Look at that thing. It's the Elite 1 Jeff Hardy. That one's legit, too. You can always tell by the face. Popping to page two, looks like we got JTG right here, 480. This guy has 13 watchers, but he's missing the chains. Like I said, if anybody has a JTG from Elite 9 with all the accessories, shoot me a DM, please. Because I could find him with the hat, I could find him with the glasses, but I can never find him with both chains. It's insane, I know. Got an SH Figures Arts, Triple H. Uh, Terry Funk Legends figure, not a bad price there, even though it was re-released as an Ultimate Edition, so I think it's probably not worth anything right now. Um, here's an Elite 9, Randy Orton. I figure it's really cool. I do have that one. Uh, got an old Jax belt. Here's the Chase Bret Hart. The Chase, it does have black pants. Some people do get it confused. The Chase Bret Hart from Elite 94 does have black pants, and the regular has pink pants. Uh, here's the Elite 13 doll Sigler. I do have that exact figure, but it's signed, which is pretty, pretty cool. Uh, here's another Sin Car from Elite 25. 14 watches and the men's is missing the freaking jacket. What? What are these people watching that for? Evan Bourne, 50 bucks. Not bad. I love that figure. I really want to get this freaking air boom, Evan Bourne. If I can find a good price, I might pull the trigger. Um, looks like we've got a Hulk Hogan lot right here. It's actually not too bad. 125. I mean, if you add it all up, it's sort of a ripoff, but it's actually not too bad. Um, oh, check this lot out. You got The Rock, as well as his father, Rocky Johnson in a lot for 65 and he has best offer on that feel free to offer him there uh if he's taking offers that means he could go lower so shoot him an offer um right there if you guys need a rocky johnson or rock rob van dam ultimate warrior that's actually not a bad lot too not a bad price either um stunning steve austin vader undertaker man it's very hard to find things that i don't have i've seen this lot i mean no offense to the seller but this is a very very bad picture because like he says a lot of six, but I see more than six figures. I would assume it's the sync card, Justin Gabriel, John Cena. Uh, I believe that might be Shawn Michaels with a Mania 27 shirt on. John Cena, Dolph Ziggler. But, like, there's figures in the background. Like, you know, I don't know, man. Because somebody could complain and be like, wait, I thought I'd get all the figures. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Ultimate Warrior right here. That's actually a pretty good price. $100 for that Legends figure in the box. This figure used to be really rare. This Christian. Um, this Elite 3 Christian. But it's gone down in price. Got a basic, uh, a basic Dean Ambrose and Elite Seth Rollins. 33 
Don't know if you're gonna sell that. Um, here's an Evan Bourne. Once again, I'm seeing this figure a lot. It's like there's a microphone in my computer saying like every figure that he says, put more of those up. Evan Bourne, dude, I want that figure so bad. Here's CM Punk. It's actually a really good price. 35 bucks for that Elite 29 CM Punk. Got um, Crazy Brian, uh, Brian Pillman right there. From WCW. Missing, I know he's missing the jacket, but that's still not a bad price. That Legends figure is really, really rare. Um, here is Paul Elring right there, missing the other head, because I know he should come with a bald head and a hair head for AOP as well as um, LOD. Um, not bad. But yeah, he's missing the head, like I said. We got a Hulk Hogan right here to find in moments. Let's take a custom edge. This is pretty cool. Elite 15 Rey Mysterio. That figure is really hard to find in good condition. Find me an Elite 15 Rey Mysterio without any scuffs on it. Wow, so hard. Um, Sheamus, all beat up. This Vader used to swarm the back rooms of Target. Dude, when we first got this figure in, like literally, of course, because I work at Target, I would go in the back. There was literally like 30 of these Vaders, dude. It like lined up. I was like, what? How, are we going to sell all these? And we eventually did. Shocked me. Got some display stands right here. This is pretty cool. You got Kane with a custom shirt. Looks like that is the Elite. It could be the Elite 63. Three, but he's got the welding mask on it, so it's probably like around like Elite 21, somewhere around there. Uh, but like that's a custom shirt, which is pretty cool. Elite 47 uh, Gold Dust, that's pretty awesome. Uh, another one that's really hard to find with all the accessories, the Rock Defining Moments, very hard to find. Awesome, I want this figure so bad. This Ringside Collectibles exclusive Chris Jericho, this guy wants 80 bucks, six dollars a ship. It's a kind of a good price. I know there's one on eBay right now that's $80 in the box. So I guess this one could be a little lower. But, um, oh man, I want that figure so bad. I should have bought it when it first came in to in stock at Ringside Collectibles. Here you got a Nexus armband. You got 10 watchers. Somebody pull the trigger on that. It's a pretty good uh, sought-after accessory right there. Let's see. Diamond Dallas Page, 35. Got a Shawn Michaels. Here's Dean Ambrose. 50, 10 to ship. Really? 50 10 to ship. Is that figure pricey? Holy cow. We got an Elite 14 John Cena missing the accessory. Ambrose right here. Elite 8 Edge. Once again, I guarantee that thing's beat up. Elite 1 Ray. Another Elite 1 Ray. Velveteen Dream accessory. Got an old Bret Hart there. Here's Big Show again. It's actually a pretty good price if you don't need the belts. Um, got a lot of figures right here. 71 Rare with accessories. Oh my goodness. We might have to click on this, guys. Let's see what we're working with. North Carolina. Oh man, looks like a bunch of different figures in there. I'm seeing some basics, I'm seeing some elites, a little bit of everything. Let's, oh yeah, here he has them all laid out. I mean, yeah, he's got some decent ones in there. Um, I don't know about $800, but he definitely has some decent ones in there. This is cool. Elite 9 Kofi Kingston with the pants. Everybody always said the pants were oversized, which they were, but it's still a very cool, nostalgic looking figure. Look at this. Got all, wait. The Elite Best of 2010 Complete Sealed Case Set of Six Figures. Look at that. You got all those figures right there in a sealed case. This guy wants $1,300. That's a little insane. I'm not going to lie. Uh, rated R Championship right there. You got an old Taz figure. This Dolph Ziggler is great. I love that figure. Got an Elite Stone Cold Steve Austin, Luke Gallows, Mark Henry, Chris Jericho. There's Chavo Guerrero again, missing the headband. Hey, but hey, if you don't care about missing the headband, this guy wants 100 The other guy with the Jax figure wants only 50 so go buy from him, get a better deal. Shelton Benjamin, 60 bucks for the Elite Elite 3, the worst Mattel figure of all time, no questions asked. We got Rhino right there. Here's the um, Ringside Collectibles exclusive, Strange Society CM Punk. People have been putting them up on eBay for lower than 600 bucks. So if you guys do want to snag a mock CM Punk, and you don't want to pay 600 bucks anymore, they're not really $600 anymore. This guy's got 450 best offer, offer him 400 if you're that interested in it. And do get it for 400 Samoa Joe, we got a lot of figures right here that is not worth $88, 12 the ship. Um, Yoshitatsu right here, actually not a bad lot if you want to rack up those basics. They look pretty decent, actually. Got a nice Ted DiBiase Jr., Emma, 123 Kid. Here it is again, Shad JTG. J uh, Shad, or JTG, I should say, missing all the accessories. Once again, find me a JTG that is not missing all the accessories so dang hard dude literally <laughs> got the brock lesnar ringside collectible exclusive shirt i've been looking at this ray for a while this is like one of my favorite sellers right here he always has the same background he does a great job um but yeah this this ray looks amazing 
Uh, I've, I've been wanting that one for a while. Again, Elite 64, John Cena. Great looking figure in the box. Here he is, Tommaso Ciampa. This guy's got all the accessories, including a Jack's ladder, which is kind of odd. Uh, he's got the shirt and the um, bandana. It looks like he's missing the tag team title, if I'm not mistaken. But that's still a great looking figure. This guy wants 65. I guess that's not a bad deal. I didn't know that figure went from price, personally. Uh, There's a great looking Jeff Hardy. I like that. Got the... Um, Edge sunglasses. I believe those are Edge sunglasses. Another custom Jeff Hardy right here. Another custom Jeff Hardy. Looks like an old AJ Styles TNA figure. Got the Walmart exclusive CM Punk. This Trish Stratus is way too pricey, man. Seriously. I mean, I know the, I know it was the first Trish Stratus, but that figure is always so expensive. Every single one I see, it's like, darn it, man. What is this? Bro. Mandy Rose in the box. Elite 75. Man's a saying wrong figure in box. Yeah, because you put the wrong figure in the box. Or you bought it from a Walmart and were tricked because uh, somebody figure swapped. But no, that was not a Mattel mistake. No way. Mattel would never make that mistake. Um, I want to see the seals on that, dude. Hold on. Hold on. We, we got to see this. Hold on. Let me see the seals on this, boy. Oh, he didn't get close-ups of the tape. Darn you, dude. I want to see the close-ups of the tape. Ah, oh, man. It's too hard to tell. But yeah, there's no way. That's, yeah, this is so fake. That dude obviously put that in there. Um, yeah, everybody, if you guys think that's like a chase, this dude's lying. That's a freaking scam. <laughs> Ultimate Warrior right here. Dingo Warrior, I should say. 23, pretty good price. Same prices in the store. So if you're trying to rack it up, boom, there you go. This is a great looking Asuka. I remember when that first came out. Target exclusive, spotlight, great figure. This Jeff Hardy's looking great. Is this the same guy that has all these custom Jeff Hardys? Because if so, he's doing a great job. They all look amazing. Uh, Becky Lynch, what a deal on this Becky Lynch. If you guys need a Becky Lynch, what a deal on Elite 49 right there. Um, Freaking not almost 20 bucks. Great deal. Let's go to the next page here. Let's see what we got. Got a nice looking Macho Man or Macho King, I should say. This is a great sought after pack. Uh, we are the nation of domination. Here's that figure again, that Becky Lynch. What a deal. Uh, this Kane's awesome. 24 bucks for a figure that I think is going to go up in price, that Kane. So rack it up. Looks like these are the Ring Side Collectible Exclusive and Brutus the Barber Beefcake, uh, Beefcake Glasses. So if you need some Ring Side Collectible Exclusive Glasses, uh, for an edge, there you go. Uh, CM Punk, best of pay-per-views, looking pretty good. He got that retro Kevin Owens. Got a Goldberg. Ed, defining one with Sean. Ooh, what do we got here? Ooh, we got a Flex Force um, playable ring. That's pretty cool. Looks like everything's intact, too. I mean, I know it's not probably the rarest play set, but to get a little nostalgia, pick that up. That's awesome. The Rock, AJ Styles, David Hart Smith. That's pretty cool. Hard to find with the shirt. So if you guys need a David Hart Smith with the shirt, yeah, 15 watchers. That's super understandable. This guy's got four-day shipping, $70. Best offer. Pfft, dude, that's a deal and a half. Um, Kane, got a big show, got a Roman. Nice looking Ray Ray. That's the um, it's the new Walmart exclusive. Here's a Jeff Hardy again. I love this Yoshitatsu. I think it's a really underrated figure. Um, Booker T right here. This man wants 80. It's a pretty good looking figure in the box. Um, I don't know about 80 for him. Uh, Gorilla Monsoon. This is a rare figure. This is a rare figure. No doubt about it. Uh, got a Jimmy and Jay Uso. Those are really cool. I wish I freaking regret not picking those up. I always see these chases in the plastic and they always come from China. I don't know about these, dude. And they're always cheap too. It's like, what? Like, uh, is this a, like an authentic figure? I mean, if it comes and it's authentic, I mean, dude, what a deal. Forty two forty nine for a chase. Uh, MJF out of the box, but I mean still here's another custom Jeff another custom Jeff dude I like the pink arm bands. I like the blue that looks really good dude you're nailing it times two uh, Jeff there Roman again Brutus beefcake here's CM Punk oh my gosh get this look at all this you got the elite 16 body it looks like you got the elite I believe it's like 26 maybe sweatshirt and you got the ringside collectible exclusive uh, straight society head and mask right there pretty crazy elite 12 cane this figure used to be super rare I mean it still is but like they've re-released it so many times get that uh, tar exclusive I believe steel cage hillbilly jam missing the freaking um, uh, overalls and the uh, horseshoe chain you know that's a solid price though for missing the accessories 43 say you have the overalls and you have the chain you just need to pick up the figure I mean 43 solid deal in my opinion um, we have a Tika Black series. Don't know why that's popping up. Uh, John Cena right there. X Pac Drew. A couple of Drews. Uh, this figure should be cheaper. Elite 31. Uh, that one's not worth that much anymore because they re released it. This is. Oh, look at this. Elite 16 CM Punk. 150 in the box. What a deal. 22 watchers. I'm surprised nobody's pulled the trigger on that. 
Um, got a nice looking Eric Rowan, Finn Balor with a cool looking cape. I really hope you guys enjoyed this toy hunt video. If you did, feel free to drop a like. Let me know what you guys thought of the hunt. In this video, I'm not going to be picking up anything today, but I do have my eyes on some certain things, like that Evan Bourne figure. Um, and if you guys saw anything that you guys are interested, feel free to jump on over to eBay, search up the listing, and pick it up, man. I also do these videos for you guys so you guys can see what deals are going on on eBay. So head on over there if you guys are interested. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time for the live. Peace.